What's up, filmmakers? How you doing? This is John Fuentes. Welcome back to Big Films, the home of Action Pack Blockbuster Filmmaking. Today, we're going to discuss how you use the VFX files from the Blockbuster Starter Pack in DaVinci. So let's get into it. Come on. Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to Big Films Tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. And we have a real fun one here, so we're going to get started and jump right into this. So as you can see, DaVinci's open up on our screen here. And as I scroll through the timeline, you might recognize these video clips from one of our promo ads in the Blockbuster Starter Pack. It's our Thor scene where we have the lightning kind of crashing down upon him and creating all these really cool event happening all around him. So as you can see here, the first clip, we sort of like in a bird's eye view and then we more level and closer to him here, which is pretty cool. And we have our actor here, the special K who came to save the day because we reached out to Chris Helmsworth, but he's like, hey, I'm too busy shooting a Marvel movie. Who are you guys? So special K was like, I got you. So here we are looking at Special K here and he was just like, hey, you know what? What is my motivation here? And it was like Statue of Liberty. And he actually took that to heart as you can see. <laughs> so just like the Statue of Liberty, he is gonna welcome us to a wonderful tutorial. Let's get started. So in the first clip, he's sort of calling down the thunder from the sky, right? He's raising the hammer to the sky, more like thrusting it and it's hitting an apex where it's at its furthest reach to the sky and this is kind of like where we want to drop our first effect into this scene here so i'll come over to my effects folder that i have right here and you can see i have already the effects that i'm going to use for these scenes here and i could drag and drop that right into my timeline and i just kind of bring it over trim it and you can see right away the lightning comes in and it's really looking really cool right it's like it's bam it's looking nice so when i'm looking here at this viewfinder here and i see the lightning coming in from right to left for me the screen direction of the lightning coming into the scene is a bit off right it's coming in from right to left but what we really want it is from left to right so the way you can do that is just by rotating the file itself and you can either be over here in your inspector folder we can kind of do a rotation here where it says rotate angle or really nice and easy click on this icon here and you can see just flip it and it looks pretty cool like that so now we going from left to right the screen direction here creates a more immersive experience for your audience so just imagine like what your audience feels when they're looking at your effect like the way you did when you first seen the promo video so it's creating almost like a three dimensional layer here and it's bringing us through the scene like the way the lightning is pushing through the scene so screen direction is really important to your narrative storytelling there's a little tip there from us all right so i'm going to turn that off for a second and we can see here the lightning is coming down and it's like all right that looks pretty good i like that it's hitting the spot right there so now i'm looking at the lightning itself and it's really this awesome glow it's fantastic and everything but if i'm looking at the rest of my scene it's this it seems like we can make this blending a little bit more naturally more organically and you're going to hear me say organic every now and then because we don't want to bring attention to the effect itself we want we want to have it look more realistic to where people just blown away by your film there so the way you can play with the blend mode on this one here is by highlighting your clip right it has a little red borders here and come over to the inspector or um effects panel and composite mode is set to normal so that's what we're looking at is in the normal mode what we want to do is set this to screen mode so i scroll down and i look for screen and then suddenly you see how the glow comes into a little bit more natural we lose some of the outer glow and then the lightning looks more realistic in the scene itself and that's really what we're going for here so that looks great bam that looks nice cool blend modes are really awesome to help you create more natural realistic effects when you editing with lighting or glows and smoke but what you don't want to play with blend modes is when you're editing vfx files that have more solid uh, like a rock or uh, say like a weapon or a building or a car if you change the blend modes on those files you lose some of the details that are in the vfx itself but when you're playing with the lightning effect blend modes are great to change things and make it look blend more naturally into your scene so let's move on to the next one so what's happening here the lightning is hitting the hammer and this should be like a reaction going on there so in our effects folder we have this really cool effect here that can kind of give us that illusion that there's a reaction happening there. I mean, let's trim this down to the size here. Maybe even trim it a little bit more on the top end, just like that. And let's come in, 
Boom, that looks pretty sweet, right? That looks pretty sweet. Okay, so what's happening here? The lightning is coming down from the sky, hitting the hammer, and it's seeing like a reaction should be happening on the hammer. So we come back to our effects folder, and we look at this effects file right here. This would be pretty good. So we kind of trim this down, we drag and drop it right into our timeline, and that is looking sweet and everything. Yeah, let's kind of like bring this over a little bit more here and trim it down. That's looking good. Let's see here. It's almost like things happen in a certain order. That looks good. So now we can kind of position that into spot where we need it to be right over the hammer and it kind of like that's looking good. Yep. See, and since we're further away from him, we kind of even scale this down a bit. But this is more of an artistic choice because I feel like we have some distance between us and him. And, and it kind of creates like this is happening off in the distance here. So we can turn this off and we can see like it's like boom, that's looking really good. So now again, we have our smoke and like little lightning effects within the smoke itself. So what we would like to do here is make sure our clip is highlighted, come over to our composite mode where you see it's set to normal and we want to change that to screen. So in our screen mode, you now you can see that it blends nicely with the lightning that's coming down. So it almost looked like, even though on our timeline we have two effects files, it looks like this is sort of like this one effect happening here, right? It's pushing through and it's like, yeah, we can kind of even see our hero through the uh, effects itself. So the next thing you want to do is we added a glow here where the hammer is sort of heating up after the lightning is striking it and it kind of, kind of explodes into a little chain reaction there. And so in our effects folder, we have a laser glow here. So this is actually pretty cool because a lot of the effects in the Blockbuster Starter Pack and much like many of our other packs is they could be used for a lot of different things, right? So just because it says laser, it doesn't mean just only a laser. This actually could be like, you know, the base of a lightsaber or a thruster of an engine. And in our case, it will be a glow for our hammer here as it's ha hitting its a reaction to the lightning. So let's trim this down. We drag and drop it right into our timeline and let's see what's going on here. That's looking pretty good. So now we want to position it right over the hammer here. That looks nice. Maybe we'll scale this down. Come remember we further away from him. That looks looking really cool. And then what we want to do is turn this off. That looks sweet. And then make sure this is highlighted again and change our blend mode, right? Because it's a glow effect here. So we kind of have it blend more with the other effects really nice and go to screen. So as you see, when we set it to screen, everything is blending really well together and looking really, really great here, right? It's looking very cinematic, very dynamic. This is pretty much how we build our first scene, just like that. You know, we just drag and drop, change a bit of the blend modes, and we just have this wow factor going on. So now in our second scene, we can see that we are more level with him, right? We're closer to him and we are on a different angle. We're in this bird's, value, bird's eye view here and we are closer to him here. First thing we wanna do is build the effect the way we did in the other scene. We start with our lightning effect. This here, this effect here is our pretty cool, right? It comes down into our timeline here, drag and drop it. And we gotta position this guy, right? So we kind of press on the icon here and kind of bring him up. So like that. that looks pretty, pretty on point right there. That looks good, right? So as we kind of scroll through this, you can see that the camera's moving, but Special K is still. It's gonna give us an indication that we're gonna have to do some keyframing here, because when we kind of get around here, the lightning loses contact with the hammer, but we wanna maintain the illusion that it's still touching the hammer as it's striking down. So what we can do here is keyframe this shot from here to here. The way we do that is like, we kind of get our cursor in position to where we need the keyframe to start. And over here in our effects panel, you can see where it says position our X axis and Y axis. And next to it is like a little diamond here. So when you click that, we're setting our very first keyframe. And then we kind of go right over to the end of the shot. And we can now click here and move our lightning back over towards the hammer. So now when we scroll back through it, it maintains contact with the hammer and it kind of gives this really cool illusion. We can even fix it and adjust it if you want to. You know, that's all up to you as an editor, it's your, your choice here, but I try to fix that, make it look better. Awesome, so that's pretty good. That's kind of like what we want. And maybe, you know, we can 
play with the blend mode in this one too. We want to change what this looks like. So we turn this off here and we go to our composite mode and go to normal It's on normal and we want to set it to screen mode, right? So we set it to screen and you can see all of a sudden this is taking a more realistic vibe to it and it's looking pretty good. The next thing you want to do is build this scene like the way we did with the first scene, right? And kind of get the cloud in there with the little lightning thing happening here. Make sure this is highlighted and then we can click on our position thing. We could change where it's going to be at. Just kind of bring it up. I think like because we're closer to him, we can kind of scale this up nicely or we can kind of bring it down like that. Kind of like it like that. I think it's pretty cool. And we can, boom. like you see these little electricity things are a little off to the side. So let's kind of bring it and center it right there. I think that looks pretty nice. It's nice and tight. Awesome. So now we want to change the blend mode just like we did in the other scene. We want to change the blend mode of this one as well. So here we have our composite mode set to normal. Kind of scroll down to blend, to screen. And that's looking good. Oh yeah, that's looking sweet. Nice. Maybe I could move it over some more. Maybe even scale it down just a bit. So yeah, like it's wrapping around the hammer really nicely. Sweet. I'll turn this off and we're looking good there. So the next thing we want to do is add our laser effect, right? To kind of like is create the glow that's happening here. So in our laser effect, we bring it down. And as you can see, our files are matching up here, which is pretty cool. We can bring this up, put this into position, and it really kind of looks like he's holding a torch. Isn't that really cool? Like he's our own Liberty, <laughs> Captain Liberty. I like that. We know that now that we're scrolling through the clip here, the glow is moving off the hammer. So we're going to have to keyframe this here, just like we did with the lightning strike, right? So we kind of get this in position where we want to go to the top of the clip here. And um, we want to set our position here, hit our X. We have our I X axis and Y and hit a keyframe, right? So we're going to turn it on and kind of put it where we want to. And then go to the end of the clip, which is nice, right about there. And let's bring it right back to our hammer, get it to right where we want it to be. So if we could turn this off and you can see as we scroll through it, it maintains contact with the hammer, which is looking really nice. That That is looking dope. That's looking cool. So right there, we just built the scene like we did with the first one, right? So we just, before we continue on, we just want to change the blend mode here, set that to screen mode and it could blend nicely with all the effects there and it maintains this continuity and consistency throughout your scene here which is pretty cool now that we completed the first level of building the effects since we have more space here and we're closer to him let's make this look a lot more dynamic right so let's add in some electricity happening here right let's 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 see what we got here uh, uh, yeah right there that looks good right so let's drop that right in Let's trim that and it's like, okay, wow, that's looking pretty cool. I mean, right off the back, it's like laying right on top of him perfectly, right? So maybe what I might want to do is just slightly scale it down. I could hug him a little bit more, but that looks good. I could turn this off. We can set this to screen mode, just like the other effects that we did. And it all matches up blend wise and it's looking fantastic. That is looking sweet, right? And then we can add another one in there, right? Let's say here we have this effect here. And um, we drag and drop that right on top and we're going to sort of trim it down to size here. And this is looking pretty cool, right? So let's kind of get this in position here. Let's maybe do that. Maybe even bring it out bigger. It's just, let's go big on this one here. And it's like, bam, right? Like, okay, like that. that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks great. And then we can turn this off and also set this to screen mode and it's going to look pretty cool because it's blending in really nicely, just like the other. And here we got this really popping scene here. I mean, like all these kind of electricity happening around. We have an event going on here. So this is pretty, pretty nice, right? So this is how we building our effects here. So the next thing we want to do is maybe add this smoke effect, which I think would be really nice here. And we kind of trim this down here. That's like that and here it's like okay in the top of the scene we have smoke on the hammer and then we can now position our smoke down by the earth here maybe even scale it up a bit that looks pretty good let's kind of get it really nice here 
but you can see here the smoke has a, a different color right which is okay but when you change the blend mode of the smoke here it's going to match the other so we turn this off here and let's go to composite mode go from normal change it to screen and that's looking good so let's see here let's scroll through it yep bam that's that's really coming together really nice and um and then finally let's kind of get some this amber here let's try this one here this is looking nice and we're gonna bring it down to size it's like debris flying everywhere right it's like all the stuff is kicking up from the, the dirt and the grass that's there and the debris is flying everywhere and that's looking pretty cool so we can actually change the blend mode on that as well it goes from normal to screen and it has a little bit more this really nice realistic dynamic feel to the scene this is pretty much how we built our promo ad here you know so there's no limit to what you can do with our vfx packs it's all about how you can see it and apply it to your films and how you can create with it we encourage you to have fun with it um, hopefully this tutorial can give you some good tips on how to use blend modes and keyframes drag and drop it right into your timeline and build your effect nicely so we really appreciate it we really hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching hey guys thanks so much for watching really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial make sure you subscribe like click on the bell icon so you can be alerted when the next one comes out also when we share the good news of our new vfx packs coming out pretty soon remember the three cardinal rules of filmmaking you are what you write you are what you shoot, and you are what you edit. So with that said, go out there and make big films. See you soon.